hello everybody my name is Praveen and today I'm going to show you how to create epic features stories and tasks in uh, using Azure DevOps and uh, you can see that I have logged into uh, my uh, DevOps Azure DevOps portal so you can here and create a uh, you know login for yourself and uh, so go here uh, to this uh, URL URL here and then uh, once you log in, you will see all these uh, projects that are created. If there is initially, you will see blank. Actually, there will be nothing. But since I have created these projects, so this is all coming up here. So to create a project, it is very simple. You just uh, click here, your project name, description, and create. Okay. So a project like this will be created. So let's uh, go to this eShop uh, project. Here you can see that. Uh, uh, Right now you can see some basic things but uh, what i will do is i'll show you how to add uh, add items to a backlog so basically backlog is the place where you uh, have all your features all your stories uh, everything is is stored is kept in the backlog okay uh, so at a high level um, so the project is basically an idea right so you you come up with the idea that uh, you are going to do something right an organization says that okay i i am going to create let's say create a uh, online shopping portal right so the online shopping portal will then have uh, so that's the project and then within that you will have a number of things for example at a high level you will have some epics okay within those epics you will have a number of features within the number of features you will have number of stories and under the stories you will have tasks Okay, so tasks are the day-to-day -day things which a person will uh, work on. So, uh, so once so this is usually created by uh, the business analyst, uh, while in some in some places the product managers also do this. So the product managers, business analyst, they talk to each other and they uh, create or set up uh, these things. Um, and uh, so 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 I am going to show you how. Uh, how usually it is done uh, i'll give you a basic tutorial uh, around it uh, so you can see that once you create this project uh, you will see this kind of uh, layout so on the right here uh, you will have a features and stories but you cannot see epics right so you need to add it so go here and select this and save and close so here the page will be page will refresh and now you can see epics here okay, epics features stories now when you create a project so there are some default things let me show you that so when you create the project actually if you go to advanced you can see work item process okay so these are different processes which are defined within the uh devops portal okay so like agile basic now these things these processes will have different uh, type of uh, workflows so that's where different kind of features are available within these processes okay for my for this tutorial i am using agile which is a very famous uh, methodology uh, or a process and so it has certain things for example it has user story it has features it has uh, it has epics it has tasks so i'm going with this but suppose you are uh, following a different process you may need different kind of artifacts okay if you want to see those things uh, so you can go to uh, your uh, organization settings like I did okay uh, so it is it is on the lower left corner so here you can see the processes and you can see this basic and all these things right so so if I go to agile you can see there are different this kind of ad effects are there okay like like feature or uh, issue or task or epic okay so this kind of uh, components are there right so these components will help us to organize our project uh, but if you go to uh, let's say some other process uh, for example uh, basic right so basic doesn't have user story okay it is epic issue there is no feature also okay? so this is one kind of uh, these are these are these are, these components can be used for uh, some other kind of projects okay where let's say you are supporting something you are in production support where you will have issues or tasks so there you create issues under issues you can have tasks okay so this is mainly useful in those kind of cases so uh, but if you're working on a greenfield project 
so mostly uh, you have to follow a agile methodology and uh, so this will help us right this process will help us so for this tutorial uh, i am i am uh, i have used that agile process so which is my default process you can set it as default uh, or you can set something as default so that will automatically when you create new project so that will use that process which you have set up as default so here uh, let's go to uh, now backlogs and in backlogs uh, as i showed you so i have added this epics so it is now appearing here so let's create a epic so what we can do is create this new work item here it is it is saying that you can create a uh, you to create a story because storage is selected here right so if i select epics and then click new work item so now epic i can create a epic web user interface okay so this is this can be one kind of epic one kind of epic reporting admins right so this is another kind of epic uh and uh like this you can create uh, multiple epics okay so let's now create some features so, so i have selected features here and now new work item uh, feature uh, can be payment screen uh one more feature uh, could be a uh, shopping cart cart right and then uh one more is like uh um, or or a dashboard the dashboard so like this i have now added different features okay so what i can do is now these features are not linked to any epics so i can add uh, these features under an epic okay so i have now added this features to the epic or this is the dashboard again this is a ui part so going to select the same epic web user interface so now under this epic i have now the features so if i go back to the epics so here you can see this small drop down and if you click that all your features will appear under this epic okay now let's go and create some stories right so you can see that i have selected stories here and i click on new work item and i am now going to create a story called uh, so the story is written usually in a in a specific format for example as an user i want to be a summary screen so that i know what i purchased okay i'm just giving a crude example uh, but usually it will be in this format okay user stories so this is like a requirement right so so you you write the story in this format and then you go inside and then add description okay, of the story so that is one type of story another story could be like for example as an user i want to see a dashboard dashboard so that i can see uh, all the latest products there's another story you then add the you know more description to it so these are the this is this is how the stories are created uh, you can also then tag the stories to a feature so uh, now click here and then you can see uh, so this is a dashboard sto story so it is it is attached to the we are attaching it to the dashboard feature save and close this is again a summary screen uh, so we again click on this and so link type is parent because features will be parent of a story so uh, okay let's add it to this feature the dashboard a summary screen so 
event close now this two stories has been tagged to the feature so now the hierarchy if we go back to the epics view we can see the hierarchy there you can see the epic on top below that there is a feature and below that you can see the stories okay so this is how the hierarchy is now under stories now stories assigned to a particular person okay so a developer in your team or a tester in your team so they work on the story so uh here uh if i now want to add some tasks right so the, this story i can add some tasks so for example uh if i if i want to go here and i can actually uh, create new tasks and then i link i can link those uh, those tasks to here or i can just like this new style task and then add something here and then a task will be added right so for example if i want to add a uh, let's say, so this is a user dashboard right so one of the tasks can be create a web api let's say so it's a task which is usually at this level the things are added by the team so team the developers will add these uh, tasks so user dashboard is, so create a web api is uh, one task under the feature under the story which is under a feature called as user dashboard okay so like this you can mm, add these things and uh, so if you click now this so you can see the task so that is the hierarchy epic feature story and under the story you have a task uh so you can see the difference also so epic is at the highest level uh however epic can have a uh, description uh and uh discussion uh, it is common for all description and discussion are common for all these components uh, and also you can assign this epic to a person usually a product manager then there will be priority and all these standard things here which is also common for all the components yep so like user feature the feature also has these things you can see uh but the main difference is that feature is a would always be a child of a epic right so epic is always a parent and feature is a child similarly uh, a user story uh, will have certain things like description now the additional thing here is the acceptance criteria right so here you go into more detail where uh, epics epic is at a very high level whereas feature is also at a high level but story is where the things are actually uh these are the things which is provided to, to the team and the, the team works on these stories and they uh so here you need to set an expectation what we're expecting uh so this is set by the the product team okay so they set an acceptance criteria that uh, we will accept this story only when it will has it will pass this criteria okay now based on the criteria the qa the qa in the team they will go and they will create their test cases okay the criteria could be one or two lines but the test cases could be 100 right or 10 or 15 or 20 depending on how complex the criteria is so i can add a criteria i can say that okay description we describe it and in the acceptance criteria we will say that okay uh you know uh the the product uh, the the launch of the product date cannot be older than two months okay if a product is uh if, if a new product has come up then it should appear on the top and it should by default uh let's say sorted as per the date like this you can add some criteria, okay some specific things and uh based on this uh so the test cases can be written okay now you also kind of assign these priorities so let's say there are 10 user stories you will say that okay this five are of top priority so this is priority one whereas some other stories uh, could be priority two and then there are there is there could be another set of stories which could be priority three so that the team knows what is more important so they so they work according to those priorities now story points again you can give some uh, points uh, usually this is this follows a specific pattern uh, so this uh, story points are assigned to this uh, stories as per that Fibonacci uh, series or you can also uh, sometimes the team is not comfortable with story points some teams they they prefer using hours actually so you can also do that so you can assign uh, instead of points you can uh, you can uh, use hours like it will take five hours or ten hours or twenty hours like 
so story, story points are again so that's a different topic but you can also go based on story points if you're comfortable if your team is comfortable with that uh so this is uh this is uh this is how you know a brief description about uh how you organize these things now i'll go uh, a bit into the sprints so the sprints uh you can set the dates for a sprint and then basically these are iterations usually it is be two week sprints so you can set the dates like click here and then say let's say start date is uh it should be a monday actually so let's say uh started date is eight and then end date is usually a friday so in a two-week sprint so this is a two-week sprint uh this is our iteration one and now we are saying that okay we need to complete these two stories where there is a task also you can create number of tasks under a story uh so at this point this is all taken over by the the team the team goes through uh, a planning session understands the stories understands the complexities a point or number of hours is assigned to a story and then tasks are created each task can also have some you know uh, like uh, hours uh, you can uh, you can add some hours here efforts here so you can add those efforts and so that you the the, the team knows how much time it will take to complete this so this is the normal cycle there are a lot of other things within it uh, which we can cover in other tutorial uh, other video tutorials uh but for now i think the the objective of this tutorial was to show you uh, how to create epics uh, features storage tasks and what is the difference between those so which i have uh, uh shown it to you hopefully uh, you now have an idea if you don't hesitate to put your comments below you can you can ask me questions you can uh, use the comment box below this uh, tutorial thanks for watching have a good day